Beer before whiskey, you're gonna get sicky. Whiskey before beer, you're in the clear. We're gonna do both. What's up guys, welcome to the little Beer Business Bureau. We've got the Whiskey Barrel Aged Amber Beer by Indian Wells Brewing Company, based out of Indian Wells, California, which is based in Riverside County. <laughs> It's been aged for months at a time, like normal whiskey barrel aged beers are and whiskey itself, which I actually think it's aged for more than months. It's got a variety of hops, a variety of malts, and we're going to jump right into it. Stick around. The whiskey barrel aged amber by Indian Mills Brewing Company is basically a time machine in the bottle. It'll take you back to the nostalgic tastes of the Wild Wild West. Well, not really. At 12%, it's got loads of malts, it's got tons of amber notes, and it is pretty much a doozy on the palate. Think of it as a whiskey bomb, but without any actual whiskey. So, you're good. That wax is just legit. Very focused, you can probably see it says Indian Wells. Legit. Too legit to quit. Now it's time to open the treasure, see what we're working with. I can get it open. A little bit of a hassle. I've had other uh, wax covered, or wax sealed beers like this and they weren't this difficult to get open. This is actually becoming a little more of a concerted effort than I would have imagined. <laughs> this beer is gonna be warm by the time I get it open. Or at least by the time I get the wax off of here. <sighs> That's actually kind of cool, but not what I was hoping for. It's okay. Smells good already. I can smell the, the, the whiskey barrels that this was put in. So as I was pouring it, I got immediate caramel, malty, uh, bourbon, just, uh, you know, aromas just coming out. And I certainly don't smell the smokiness from whiskey that I'm used to with you know a lot of uh, whiskey or barrel aged beers. Let's do an official smell test right now. Yeah, uh, it definitely smells like an amber, uh, barrel aged amber. Never had that before, so I'm kind of smelling more amber now than I than the uh, caramel and whiskey notes, but. Let's just go on the taste test. Forget what I said about amber being more prominent to the nose. The taste is overwhelmingly whiskey based. So of course, as you can see, the body is very dark. Usually amber is a little more reddish, you know, uh, brownish kind of hue, like light brownish kind of hue. This is definitely darker. And of course, I would expect that to be so because it is whiskey barrel aged. It's a nice deep brown color. The whiskey part aside, and this is a really, really interesting amber because it has all the, the, the qualities of an amber ale. It's fruity, but it's still resinous. It has almost a licorice kind of taste. This reminds me of the Guten Careless uh, Noel that I did a review of oh, some time ago, where it had um, sort of a currenty kind of taste, but sort of a licorice, like black licorice kind of taste. Similar, not as intense as that one, but similar. If you can kind of imagine a Jack Daniels shot um, being dumped inside of a beer, like a, you know, whiskey bomb, it's kind of what this is, but not nearly as corrosive to your liver, hopefully. So at the tip of the tongue, you get the whiskey, of course. The amber ale kind of sits in there, kind of mellows out, kind of stands in there in the middle. And then on the back, the, the after effects of if you've had a whiskey shot, of course, like a, like a bourbon shot before, that comes in on the back of your throat, on the back of your tongue, and reminds you of a bearable whiskey shot, only with um, amber notes instead. A little more on the whiskey side, but it's actually still smooth, and it's got a great mouthfeel. It feels very full, but very warm in the mouth, like whiskey, like bourbon. So this is, uh, this is uh, interesting. I don't think it specifically says that it uses bourbon, but the way it smells and the way it tastes, the flavor profile, um, the finish, mouthfeel, it feels like I would, I'm actually having a you know, fine glass of 
bourbon whiskey from Kentucky. And I guess it doesn't matter. I mean, it's a 12% beer. I'm not gonna complain if it's bourbon or not. One thing I forgot to add, which is really cool and fun fact about Indian Wells Brewing Company is that all of the beers that they make, they source the water from artesian spring water from the historic Indian Wells, California spring. It's a fun fact. It's really actually kind of cool if you think about it. You know, that water is locally sourced and it's in the desert. I mean, shit, you can't get cooler than that, really. Does that mean that I can taste the difference between this beer and another beer that's not made from spring water? Uh, right now, no, but hell, I mean, all that means really to me is that it's a lot healthier than the other crap that's out there, right? And it's craft beer, so hey, you winning no matter what. Now it's time for the artwork. Pretty cool looking bottle. Uh, it's got the whiskey barrel, uh, you know, whiskey barrels in the shot, middle of the shot, Indian Wells logo. It's got the cursive up top, colonial looking cursive, Western style looking cursive, I guess. Uh, yeah, simple, you know. In the back, you've got like an old wanted poster, paper, parchment paper, I guess you'd call that. Actually, now it's starting to taste a little bit more like Jack and Coke. Uh, some people may not like that. I'm happy to like it a little bit because it's being a little, it's a little more interesting. I'm not going to say that I like or dislike it. Well guys, if you like this review, make sure you press the like and subscribe button and please, please, please share my content with your friends, family, beer drinkers, potential beer drinkers, anyone who may be slightly interested in the content that I make because I'll love you forever for it. Cheers. And always drink better beer.